In this problem, we've been asked to subtract two fractions that have the same denominator. We have 5 sevenths minus 3 sevenths. If you're new to adding or subtracting fractions, it can help to draw a picture of them so you can visualize what's going on. 5 sevenths means that you have a whole piece that's been cut into seven parts, seven equal parts, and you have five of those parts. So to draw 5 sevenths, let's draw one big rectangle. So this large blue rectangle represents a whole, and to divide it into sevenths, I'm going to cut it into seven boxes of the same size. So this outside box represents a whole. It's been split into seven equal parts, so each part represents one out of seven, one seventh. To have five sevenths means that you have five out of seven pieces. So let's shade in five out of seven to represent the first fraction. So this shaded part represents five sevenths. I have five out of seven boxes shaded. If I'm going to subtract three sevenths, that means I need to take away three of the boxes. So I can subtract three of the boxes to see what's left over. Once I erase three of the boxes, I can see that there are only two left over. This means that 5 sevenths minus 3 sevenths is 2 sevenths. I had 5 out of 7 pieces, and I took away 3 of those pieces, so I'm left with 2 out of 7, 2 sevenths. Here's the general rule when you're subtracting fractions. If your denominators are the same, that means all of the pieces are the same size. So all you need to do is subtract the numerators, and your denominator will stay the same.